All right. It is about 6.30 p.m. right now. I just spent an hour traveling from Brevard County to Orlando, to Orange County here, in preparation for me starting working at Hessler. I'm gonna work at the Navy Exchange to uh, sell those knives. The issue, though, was finding um, a base of operations. And uh, I thought I would go ahead and make a video here to um, show you guys, or those of you who are new to all this, trying to figure out how I do things. The first thing I had to do was figure out where the location was. So I actually GPSed and went out there to see. And um, now I kind of have a rough idea of where I need to be tomorrow morning. But then I also needed a place to park. Um, being in a new area, uh, one of the safest ones I found that's readily available and stuff and has like bathroom and food access and stuff like that is of course our friendly neighborhood Walmart which is going to be um, the uh, camp location for tonight but I also um, GPS to see uh, if there was a nearby Planet Fitness and luckily there is one within three miles from here so, looking at the time from where I have to be at the Navy Exchange and the Walmart and the um, Planet Fitness, I think I, if I allocate myself um, an hour in the morning, let's see, it's going to be about 30 minutes ride, so i got to allocate about an hour and a half. So that means i got to get up about two hours before I have to be into work. I have to hit Planet Fitness, take my shower chill, get dressed, and then drive out to work. And all of this probably is going to take about 30 minutes or so of commuting. Which isn't too bad. It's not like being right at the work location, but uh, 30 minutes is doable and I think it's shorter than, I think it's more like, it's like 15 miles, 20 miles distance I have to travel. But, um, it's normally not that bad, but if you look here at um, Little Blue's odometer, you're going to see it says 84.5 miles. Um, let, me, let me start it up just to show you how much gas we've actually used. Get with the key here. Do I have the key? Yeah, the key's in there. If you look at the um, gas gauge, of course all those lights are still on, we're at almost half a tank. I had um, filled the vehicle all the way up, like past max, you know, the highest it'll go. And normally, if it was running well, that odometer, the trip odometer right here, should be saying almost 200 miles. So we're getting less than half of what I was getting before. At its current rate of um, gasoline consumption, I'm guessing that a full tank will only last about 150 to 160 miles. Previously, um, when the vehicle was running well, I was getting about 320 miles per tank full. So I'm losing more than 100 miles per tank. The vehicle is only running at about two thirds um, efficiency, two thirds what it was doing before. Which means Little Blue 2, or Little Blue 3 rather, is in the same or worse condition than it was when all this stuff started. With the um, misfire, and me paying, and with Charles's pay too, and all this stuff. I think we've sunk more than $800, maybe even $1,000 worth into trying to get Little Blue to work. And um, we're nowhere better off than we were before we started. It's kind of discouraging, but at the same time, um, we've managed to make it all the way to Orlando, so I'm optimistic that I can get back and forth to work, even with it eating so much gasoline and having all these issues. I am debating whether or not I want to hire another mechanic to try to look at blue and see what the heck is going on. Why, after changing out the PCM, the uh, the ECM computer, you know, PCM ECM computer, the injectors, the plugs, um, the coils, and everything else, we're still right back to where we were at square one. But that's uh, the current situation, and that's life. 
Um, however, I am working, and it did make, you know, it was able to transport me all the way from Brevard County up here to Orange County to work. Um, luckily for me, I'm not, you know, I'm going back and forth every night, or this would be way too expensive. I'd be going through one tank of gasoline per day, uh, which is about $60. Right now, I'm looking at about $20 to get up here, $20, $25 to get up here, which is expensive. But um, I'm not going to be um, having to do it back and forth every day. So it'll be bearable. Just um, kind of throwing money down the drain here when you're, you know, just eating it with gasoline. So. I don't know. I, I don't think I'm really going to try to fix blue, although I may have another mechanic look, but then, you know, you got to pay them, and then after my last fiasco with the mechanic doing stuff, even though I didn't tell him to do anything, um, and it didn't fix anything, really, we still have the same issue that we had when all this started. So, I may be saving for another van. I don't know, what, what do you guys think? Is, is it worth trying to fix blue, or time to let her go? Uh, I do plan on keeping them right now um, while I'm working and, and living out here in Orlando, but I don't conceive her um, ever really making a full recovery at this point.